going to need to do is some Sharpie pens or a permanent marker, any kind of permanent marker that will stay on plastic, some nice string, something to hang our projects with, some fabrics, some empty bottles of pop. Don't have to do the big bottles, you can do this with small bottles um, and either a knife or scissors, depending what you've got. Then these are going to be coloured in and then add, you see this will be added to them and they are then going to be um, cut to the mix spirals. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut off the label. We do that on every bottle until the labels are off. So a good tip is to keep a hold of your bottle top because that will be used later on to help attach materials um, to the top of the thread which is going to be the top of the spiral. Then we're going to colour it in. I've got a couple of colours here to choose from. And you are literally trying to colour in any patterns you like on the side of the bottle. So the bottle is coloured in now um, and we're going to get rid of the funny bottom. So I'm using a knife to do this. gone and now we're going to cut several little spirals up into here decisions into the bottom to make about one one strip two strips and three strips The three main strands and now what we need to do is cut in a few more strands so sticking to the edges and trying to keep everything about the same width and following the line you already cut so everything runs parallel and you keep this broad base at the top so don't put too high up otherwise what you'll get is um, just dangling strands that are all tangled together as this way they form kind of ringlets So here it is, here's the uh, finished piece at the minute. It still needs the top putting on and the materials, but down at the bottom, just in case you're handling this, be aware that where you cut, you can get little sharp points. Now the plastic in itself, not a problem. You can press in there quite hard and it's not gonna hurt you. So the points though could be an issue, so you need to round all those points off. Just any way you start cutting into the bottom, like any of these corners here as well. In of itself, so I did a quite a pleasing noise. It's nice and that coming outside and catching the wind, but you can also put it in front of a fan, which will blow it. And if it's touched, it'll make the same noise. So you can have it hung up in front of a fan, and this is for example, and you can hear all of the sounds it's making, and it will explode in part. If it's on a string, it's going to move a lot more and make a lot more noise. Uh, bottle tip we need to take the cap off, and we need to use. Another tool that I neglected to mention at the start, but first, we're going to take the knife, or if you've got some decent scissors, and very carefully, and this has to be an adult doing this, poke a hole in the top. So there's a little bit of a hole there now. We need a screwdriver just to widen that hole so it's a bit more visible and can poke our string through it. So I'm going to put some gold thread there.
And if you're having trouble poking it in, you take your screwdriver, press the thread on the top, give it a little wiggle and it'll push it through for you. Going to tie a knot in this. So you don't want the string to just a bit too thick, you want it to be a nice thin string. Otherwise the ball cap won't go back on the bottom. So there's our ball cap ready. So we're going to get our ball back. And the materials I showed you earlier, I've cut some into strips, nice long strips. So I'm going to poke these into the opening of the bottle and pull them through about halfway. So here's the red material and it has shiny gold spots. So if possible, you want to try and make sure these spots are on the outside of the bottle. And I'm going to put four pieces of material in, two of each. I'm holding the material in place as I do this, so every time I'm going to need this material in, these aren't moving. See already with quite a bit of material there. One more piece. Again, try and keep your shiny holograph bits on the outside. So we take our cap, putting our piece of material together, put the cap on, and this will twist the materials around a bit, we don't worry too much about that. And screw this cap back on as tightly as you can get it. And there it is finished. And we're going to go and hang these outside now.